Ooh, I can already foresee something. This is going to be bad because the game is running off the same hard drive I'm currently recording to. So, this is going to be interesting. Anyways, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to War Thunder. Um, so, I finally managed to get onto the dev server for once. And I'm going to take out the new M26 Pershing with rocket launchers. Now, of course, I absolutely forgot to actually... Well, assign the rocket button, so we have to do that before we get into any trouble. But that should not be a problem. So, let's go. And once we are here, we even get to look at the new map. Advance to the Rhine. This is in Cologne, the city of w where I was born in, actually. Ah, oh, look at this. Look at this beauty. Where we can fire the rockets. Actually, let's see if the destructible environment is here. Does not look like it. Does not look like it. Sadly. Oh, I can feel the power. I can feel the power. Anyways, where should we be going? Oh, there's the Kölner Dom. I remember that. I was there in real life. You have to go there. So we did expand some rockets there. Uh, I guess it's the right side that's going to fire first next up. I must say, this looks this looks interestingly beautiful. I, I am getting some bad... Let's say mediocre FPS, but hey, that's kind of right. So, it's really here we have our first victim, Max in the M26. Now, of course, my keybinds are completely wrong. So, I'm probably going to, going to take some time in trying to figure this whole stuff out. But, in the meantime... Ah, <laughs> Oh, look at that! Actually, can we destroy the cathedral? That would be nice. It does not look like it. And we won! What the fuck is this? <laughs> so, let's try this again. Now, the last match I flew this thing out, um, we had some control problems, which I've now all fixed. So, hopefully, it's going to be a little bit better now. Uh, does this thing even have MGs? It is supposed to be a, to have a um, radio operator controlled MG, but I don't think it's activated since you have so many beautiful rockets. <laughs> oh, I love this. No, I never, I never actually drew. Ah, I never actually drove on this map, so it's going to be interesting to see. But oh my god, look at those graphics! Look at that! Oh, look at that snow! Now I gotta say, the dagger engine is is quite nice for <laughs> for the lighting. Look at that lightning! Oh, that is beautiful. That is absolutely beautiful. But let's not get sidetracked here. We still have a lot of stuff to do. Now, what can we do on this map? That's a question here. I guess it's just a regular domination. So we're just going to try it out. Now keep in mind, this is only the Second time I ever drove this tank out, and I haven't gotten into combat yet, so... Um, oh, and this is some beautiful matchmaking, look at that! <laughs> 254s, Leopard 1s... Uh, just... Pfft, a regular old day in War Thunder. Yeah, that combat, there's nothing to see here. I can destroy this. Oh, yes we can. Well, these are pretty much the same carriages that you have on, on Ash River. Nothing special there. I must say, this thing is actually a bit slow, it seems. It might just be due to... Um, due to the terrain, but uh, it seems to be a bit slow. Might be the, the regular M26 that doesn't have the... the upgraded engine that I like so much. Oh, oh, oh. Can we just shoot this guy? We could, we could, but I don't think we have the penetration to get through to him. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Not good, not good, not good. Anyways, in the meantime, let's go for B. Let's actually PTFO on a dev server. It doesn't change anything, but hey. I can't lose my face here. Oh, let's close in on B. Oh. <laughs> Did I tell you? Did I tell you how much I love the new looks? Look at this. This is absolutely beautiful. Just beautiful. Now, my FPS are dropping a little bit, but that's, uh, that's pretty much expected. I am currently having some FPS troubles on the regular maps as well, so there's nothing nothing new here. But I must say, 
So far, I like the looks. I like the looks. I did give a, uh, I did give the uh, the Hawker Hunter a fly out as well. Probably not going to do a video on it just yet because, and this is a major spoiler, ladies and gentlemen, as soon as the patch goes live, I'm going to work my ass off and try to get a blueprints episode on the Hawker Hunter done, which I'm going to compare it with the F86 and the MiG-15 Biz. Now, hopefully, that's going to help you guys in figuring out how exactly do you use that new aircraft. Because I'm seeing a lot of confusion on that. Now, of course, it's going to include um, rip speeds, gear brake speeds, flap brake speeds, stuff like that. Everything. Everything you could possibly hope for in terms of, of information. Now, we have a T-34 here. And we, of course, completely missed. And he is down. Well, that did not go so well. Um... I'm just going to assume that he he was too scared and he actually died off right there from my mighty mighty rockets. <laughs> can we shoot through this? Yes, yes, we can. Now, of course, we. Oh, 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 oh! Something hit us there. Suffer! Eat my rockets. There you go. <laughs> I gotta love those rockets. Oh. Actually, we do have a slight problem here, that they are mounted quite far away from the turret. That could be a problem. Uh, so, which side is fine. No, those left. There we go, there we go, there we go. Come on. That's a... Your gun barrel isn't looking so good, mate. <laughs> oh, I love this. Now, sadly, these are only AI. There aren't really many... many players around, but hey. Go, maybe we get some hits here. And goodbye. <laughs> no, no, mate, this is not OP. This is not OP. Oh no, oh, oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. We have some we have some real position now. This is an IS3. IFCs are very tough. Oh, 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 not good, not good, not good. That's straight for straight for a turret here. Now let's see if we can actually get this guy with some guns here. Come on. Artillery barrage! Ah, nope! Nope, that was not enough. Not enough. I is free. Too strong, mate. Too strong. But yeah, if this thing is actually going to face IS freeze in the real game, we're going to have some problems. It is a 6.7. It is a 6.7, but... Um... I'm not sure how, f how well this thing can, uh, can hold up against uh, top tier. Top tier vehicles. I mean, I, cr I could probably have damaged that guy with the rockets, but since they are mounted on each side of the turret, it's a bit hard to, to aim them at, uh, at close range. Yeah, you definitely have to, to, to hit the right, uh, to the right angle and the right range with, this, uh, with these rockets. It's a bit like the Calliope. You know, at, at extreme ranges, this thing is just absolutely useless. At close ranges, you could do some major damage with the Calliope. You could even fire over cover. Not so much with this thing. Not so much with this thing. You could probably... Shoot around the corner if you present your turret like that, but um, yeah, don't count on that. <laughs> I'm actually anxious to see the um, the amazing replays of uh, people just wrecking these kinds of tanks. That'd be something interesting to see. Now the game is just about to end, so hopefully we are going to get some more time into the desert so that I can look at some more vehicles. Now I'd like to take out the um, the British tanks, but. They are bundled, you can't actually buy them with uh, Golden Eagle, so I can't actually drive them out into battle, which is, well, an interesting decision. I mean, the Death Star is supposed to be a place where you can test stuff. How are you going to test something that you can't even drive? Yay! And here we go in a Japanese B uh, B-17. Yay! <laughs> anyway, guys, see you um, in the next video, I guess. My name is Marcus Boom, thanks for watching.